everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to install Yarn on Mac. For that, join me in the terminal application on your computer. We're going to use the following command, starting with sudo. Sudo means we are going to run a command as an administrator, because if you want to install a package globally to be used everywhere on your computer, you have to run the command as an administrator to give administrator permissions for that global change. On Mac, to run a command as an administrator, you start the command with the keyword sudo. Then you can use the command npm. This means we're using the node package manager, which we previously installed because it comes with node. They're bundled together. And we're going to use this package manager to install a package. So that is the package we're using currently. And we're going to use the command install, which means we're using npm to install something. Then I'm going to add the global flag. You could also just use G. And this means that we're going to install a package globally, which means it can be used in any folder on our computer. After that, I'm going to write the keyword yarn because this is the package we are installing. We're using npm to install yarn. Then hit enter and you'll be prompted for your computer password. You'll be prompted for your password anytime you use sudo because if you want to run a command as an administrator, you have to give your password to verify that you are the administrator. So type in the password to your computer. Then you should get the message changed one package or added one package and perhaps audited two packages. As long as you don't see an error message here, then you are good. So now this tells me we have installed yarn. If you get any prompts to do any extra steps like add yarn to your path variables, then follow those prompts and do what they say. Because for example, you have to typically add packages to your environment variables with an extra command so that you can use the variable for yarn like so. So once you follow all the recommended steps, if there are any, then try using yarn by typing in the command yarn. You should see a success message. You can also verify that you can use yarn in a new terminal window, which verifies that it can be used globally and that it's been added to your environment variables, which can also be done by default typically if you install a package, but sometimes has to be done manually. You can check what version of yarn you have with yarn dash dash version. In this example, I'm using version 3.2.0. And if you want to update yarn to the latest version, then you can use the following command yarn, which means that we are using the yarn package to do something. Then we're going to call set, which means we're going to use the set command to set something. I'm going to be setting the version, which means I'm going to change my yarn version. Then I'm going to use the command stable, which means I'm going to set my version of yarn to the latest stable release, which means it's the latest release that is working. So you can hit enter and you should get the message saving the new release in a location. And if you get asked to update the environment variable, then do that. You can check your yarn version again, and it should be the new version in this terminal window and in any other new terminal windows. If you don't see the new version, then you can try rerunning the command to set yarn as an environment variable. You can also try restarting your terminal application because sometimes when you make an installation or an update, you have to refresh your terminal to make sure the changes get installed. And Another option to try is try restarting your computer again to make sure that the changes can be applied and refreshed. Otherwise, that is how you can install yarn. So now you can use the yarn command, which is very commonly used typically for installing packages. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.